Hi everyone, in this video we'll see how to create an EOS token on the EOS blockchain. If you haven't seen the previous video, uh, check in the description and you will find how to set up a development environment like this. So I start the EOS blockchain. with Docker Compose. Okay. This is a local blockchain because uh, there isn't uh, a public one now. But uh, the instructions sh should be similar when uh, it will be available uh, publicly. So uh, here I start uh, with uh, this command. Uh, Docker Compose with uh, the current user and uh, the bashrc file you find in the project. Okay. Leos get info. We, we check that uh, the environment uh, work. And uh, now we can uh, uh, do the uh, second run part. And uh, I already have a wallet, so if I run the previous command, like uh, create, if I do uh, Clios create wallet, sorry, wallet create, you see that uh, I already have the default wallet, so I have to unlock the wallet that uh, I already have. So I run this command, and this is the, the password to unlock it. Okay, it's unlocked. And you also can check the uh, Clios wallet list you see all the open uh, wallets and uh, uh, th this symbol means that uh, it is uh, unlocked. And uh, you also can check the loaded keys. So I have uh, the EOS, uh, public and private and uh, another one, another key loaded. So uh, I uh, won't uh, import a new one because uh, I already have uh, the, the key. If I try to import again, uh, yeah, I already have this key loaded in the wallet. Uh, so now I have to create uh, an account to manage this, uh, this token. And uh, I use this create account. Okay, the, trans uh, the transaction is uh, okay. Uh, EOS, EOSIO is the account I already have. This is uh, a new one, and uh, these are the public keys. Uh, this one. This one is uh, the public key. Okay, so uh, I have to, to create another account to deploy the um, token smart contract. And uh, I use the, the same public keys, as you can see. And, uh, and now I will copy the um, EOS IO token uh, contract from uh, the examples. And uh, it is, uh, I think, uh, a standard because it also integrates uh, with the other utility in the EOS ecosystem. So I copy and uh, I have to, to compile to, to get the uh, WAST file. So this one. Okay, it is uh, uh, generated, so I have the WAST file and uh, the, 
the contract the contract is uh, quite simple there are the main actions uh, which are uh, issue and uh, transfer and then uh, the operation sub subtraction uh, and uh, addiction okay uh, so now I come back here and uh, I attach uh, this contract uh, to uh, the uh, Luigi token, which is uh, the account which uh, owns uh, uh, this uh, token contract. Okay, and uh, now I do the first uh, action, which is uh, create. And uh, it, it means uh, that uh, Luigi uh, will have uh, uh, this amount of GGG token. And uh, this is the private key that I will use. Uh, it means that uh, uh, the tokens, uh, this create action, is uh, the, the maximum amount of token that uh, the user can create. But uh, with the issue action, I actually uh, generate the uh, amount of token I want. So I generate uh, 99 token. And uh, if I run this action again, you can see we get uh, the error because uh, we, we can go over uh, 100. So I, I can still uh, generate one GG token. Okay. And, uh, and now we, we can check the, the balance of the, this token with the get currency balance. And uh, okay, I have uh, 100. And uh, the other uh, quite common action is to, to send this token to an, uh, another account. So I will send some uh, GG token to uh, another account like this. And I will send the token uh, to uh, ESIO from Luigi to EOS IO account 15. This is the transaction. And uh, if I check again uh, the, the balance, this. Okay, I have just uh, 85 uh, uh, GG token uh, now. And uh, if we, if we check the uh, EOS IO, we have 15. Uh, as you can see, uh, there are no fees, and uh, I moved uh, just the token uh, with uh, this command. I hope you en uh, enjoyed uh, this video, and uh, if you have uh, any questions, uh, please uh, leave a comment, a comment uh, below, and see you in another video. Bye.